the home of Riverwalk and the home of the Roadrunners of UTSA. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. UTSA will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20, and he's hammered down. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gives it to the back. Brought down around the 24-yard line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29. to the tight end, but he bottles the ball away. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Gidry, back deep to return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle made at the 40. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Slings it. They'll bring him down around the 43 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. He's tackled in the open field. At the 39. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Quick pass going back to his running back. That's a great tackle. The 39 yard line. That brings up third and 10. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. UTSA could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. Well, they leave three points on the field there. Still no score. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Around the 36 yard line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 36 yard line. Watch the run, watch the run. He's on the run. He's taken down at about the 37 yard line. They make the stop around the 38-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. 
gains his way to the 29-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The Cougars saw one of their key guys go down earlier. It looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Nice run, and he's brought down. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. Have some daylight. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. That's the kind of field vision you want out of your linebackers. They have to play well in coverage, and they have to be able to break up pass plays. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That makes it third and goal. From the eight-yard line, it's third down. made at the one. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. Well, the receiver does a nice job on his route, and how about the throw by the quarterback? Perfect execution. When those two things are going well, the offense has a good chance of picking up big yards. Runs away, and he'll lose yards. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. I can't argue the play call. Who's the defense just did their job by standing their ground. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Nice run there. Nice run to the outside. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there, and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's a lot of concern from his teammates with a guy down on the field. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Decent run here, right side. Gain of seven yards. That'll make it third and one. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. Picked up by the defense. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Gives it left side. Makes it out to about the 20. 
That makes it first and ten. Tackle at the 22-yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. He's going to try and scramble, and he's tackled right around the 12-yard line. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Houston is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Houston's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive, so let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more, so a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Throws it in a hurry. He's still going. Brought down around the 37-yard line. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. Up the middle for a nice game. Gets out to about the 17 yard line. He scrambled. They'll bring him down at the eight. That's good for a game of nine yards. That'll make it second and inches. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. You know, this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. And he converts the extra point. A seven-play, 72-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. 
Okay. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. 7-3, UTSA. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Zips it to the back. Good tackle there in space. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. He's tackled around the 45 yard line. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit and he played to the whistle. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. UTSA is up four. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. He's at the 30. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Gets out to about the 21. Gain of three on the play. Time right, time right. That'll make it second and seven. Three down, three down. Check by 12. By 12, by 12. Go, 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 And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. He makes it to the 15-yard line. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Got some open field. And he is drilled at the 36. Called a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Out to around the 45. Gain of nine on the play. First down. Quick throw picked off. He's at the 40. And down he goes. Right around the 28 yard line. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know, the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From the 28-yard line, first down. UTSA is up by four. The senior makes the catch. He's taken down right around the 16-yard line. He's got the corner. No one open, so he's going to run. Touchdown, Roadrunners. Outstanding.
outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Had his hands on it and dropped it. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 23. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Pressured and brought down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Second and long. Ball on the 28. Mike 55. Mike 55. E, 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 e. Larry, Larry, Larry. Running. Running. Run, 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 run. Gains his way to the 39 yard line. Call it a gain of 11 yards. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. Tackle made at about the 45. Number 59 makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. First down. Throws complete, he's hit right away. Gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of six yards. First down. Hey, check, check. Hey, check right, check right. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. After a decent run up the gut. Gain of six on the play. That makes it third and three. It's the 11th play of the drive. Me and you all day. All day. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike 55. Mike Whiting. Mike He gets to about the 27-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Now he's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. Play 13 of the current drive. And he's taken down around the 20-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. That'll bring up third and two. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. Four down, four down. Hey, check right, check right. Check. 
Gets out to around the nine. That's good for a gain of eight yards. Man left, man left. That makes it second and two. Mark 55, Mark 55! Jack, Jack! Slam, slam, slam! Nice run up the middle. Gain of five on the play. That makes it first and goal. Mark 55, Mark 55! Jack, Jack! Great on the flag! Tackle at the one yard line. Of second and goal. They'll work the left. Dives for extra yardage. No gain on the play. That makes it third and goal. We've got third and goal. About a yard to Pater. A short yardage defense here. Houston. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he hits the PAT. A long 19 play, 81 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Roy has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 26. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. UTSA holds a four-point lead. Got a man tackled for a loss. They stopped for a six-yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Houston's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. Williams was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. Wilder will be the return man. Tackle made at the 49 yard line. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. It's second and 12. Ball on the 47-yard line. Quick pass going back to his running back. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback. Over the middle. Brought down at midfield. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Gidry is back deep to return. goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. UTSA is up four. 
Makes it out to about the 30. Better make it second in inches. Well, we played a half of football. The Roadrunners lead it by four. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offensive work. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. looking forward to seeing this second half i think there's certainly a want for victory a want and a need for victory some teams need this victory reese davis want need got to go get it either way brad and kirk are there to deliver All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. They're set to go for another round. UTSA is up by four. Here's an opening. Nice run there as they work the outside. Call the game seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Watch 14, watch 14. Nice run, and he's brought down. release tight end incomplete you know sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying throw it throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm stepping and throwing and that time to aim the ball it was incomplete throws right away he's hit and taken down they'll bring him down right around the 18 yard line Pitches it. He's got the corner. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Got the corner. And he makes it out to about the 11 yard line. UTSA holds a four-point lead. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's tackled at the 13. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. This isn't much more than an extra point.
It's up, and it's puts the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Wilder fields at the goal line. Tackle at the 27. Kickoff returns 26 yards. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 27. He's brought down in the open field. The halfback picks up a yard. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. He airs it out. And he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. McGee with the tackle at the 33-yard line. First down. Right there in the middle. 55. Ready? Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes. Right around the 32-yard line. Godfrey on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it second and eight. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. a nice run up the middle. So it's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. Roy has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Brought down at the 33. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, either one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute put points up. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. UTSA is up four. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That's a great tackle at the 23. That is a loss of six on the play. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Wilder back deep to return. They'll bring him down at the 47. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Locker 
set up and he drops it. From the 47 yard line, second down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. And he carries the ball for a nice game. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. We're about set to start things up again. UTSA is up by four. Black five, black five. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. Number three brings him down at the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He gets rid of this one. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 22. Three down, three down. Mike nine. Mike nine. He scrambled, and they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Wilder is the deep man awaiting the return. He's at midfield, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. Second and ten. Ball on the 47. Scrambling around, and they make the stop at the 46-yard line. Man, and they take him down immediately. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks up, and he missed it left. No good. They're ready to begin another drive. UTSA holds a four-point lead. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at midfield, and he tackles him hard at the 45-yard line. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They didn't want to know. Check three. Check three. Check three. And he's taken down around the 18-yard line. Step 
steps out of bounds around the 14 yard line. That makes it second and six. Tackled in the backfield. Nowhere to go on the delay. That'll bring up third and six. Mike nine. Mike nine. Open man. Quick strike, and he can't pull it in. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Wilder fields it at the one. Lost the ball, fumble. It's recovered to the 20, the 10, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. That's a huge mistake by this offense, and really at this point, the leadership is going to be tested. If I'm the quarterback, I'm calling everybody over the sideline before we go back on the field. I'm looking every one of them in the eye and telling them I believe in them. Let's forget about the mistakes. Let's climb back into this game. Let's have a chance to win. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number 88, back to return. He'll return it from the one. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Kickoff returns 28 yards. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. Tackle at the 38. Call the game of nine yards. That makes it second and two. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. A quarter to go, and can they pull the upset? The Roadrunners lead it by two touchdowns. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Well, they've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Game of four on the play. First down. Four down, four down. Mark 55, Mark 55. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. They hand it off again. And he's tackled at the 43. They bring him down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks. Or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Gidry is back awaiting the punt. He's tackled at the 28. Nice yardage on the run back. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. 
This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down right around the 34. Stewart gains six yards with a short completion. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. complete he's got room to work and down he goes at the 42 well it was third down so they obviously had to get to the sticks and they did just that with this little pass play now he's scrambling he's taken down at midfield going to try and scramble. Tackle made the 42-yard line. He scrambled. He's wrapped up for the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. He fights forward to about the 43. Here they come. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. McNair, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Touchdown. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Set check, He's gobbled up in the backfield. Bacon tackles him for a loss. That'll make it fourth and ten. Roy is waiting for the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Run there. 47 with the run. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Jones is the 
intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Trying to change the field position with this kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Mike 55, Mike 55, E, 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 Throws complete, big loss. Midfield. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punch. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 44. Just under three to go in regulation. He takes it right side for a good game. Fights forward to about the 36. Houston's going to use their first time out of the half here. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. He gets it up. And it's off the upright. No good. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And they make the stop at about the 45. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Quick strike, and he drops it. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to try that time. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He chucks it downfield. Incomplete. Almost picked off. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That's a gain of two. First down. Just under two to go in the game. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Number two at the 46-yard line. That'll bring up 73. Caught and big hit there to stop it. Under heavy pressure. They can't connect. Incomplete. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Check four, check four. 
Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations for that defense. That's going to be the ball game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Nice run up the middle. Houston's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's on the run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Houston will take their last time out. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee. Quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 27-13, Roadrunners. The Cougars, 13. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.